Hi everyone, this is Samuel from Resident Audio and I'm here to show you how to set up your T2 or T4 interface as an audio and MIDI device for your Mac computer. Start by downloading and installing the most recent drivers for your interface. Navigate to the Resident Audio website at www.residentaudio.com and go to the download page to find the appropriate driver. Once the download completes, open the zip file and run the installer. Be sure that you allow the driver to make changes to your computer and give it security permissions when prompted by the installation wizard. You now have the proper drivers and software installed. Open up the resident audio control panel and plug in your interface to the computer's Thunderbolt port. Always keep the resident audio control panel open when using the interface to ensure proper communication with the computer as well as to help monitor and change output levels. When connected, you will see the output faders appear. Open up your DAW and the T-Series interface should auto-populate your audio ins and outs. You can assign the interface as your input and outputs for your audio tracks. Check the preferences and look for the MIDI tab. You will be able to select the interface as your MIDI input and output device. This option may appear in different places depending on your DAW. If you are unable to locate the interface as a MIDI device and you have confirmed that your interface is connected properly, Please check to see if your T2 or T4 can be found in the Mac Audio MIDI setup. If your interface appears here, please set it as your default MIDI device. If this does not solve this issue, or it does not appear in Audio MIDI setup, please delete all other MIDI drivers installed on your computer and reinstall your resident audio interface driver. Try to connect again. The T2 or T4 should now appear as a selectable MIDI device. Once connected correctly, you can try reinstalling other MIDI drivers. If installing another driver makes the T2 or T4 undiscoverable as a MIDI device, then it may be incompatible with the resident audio drivers. Once this is set up, you can now plug in your MIDI controller. Take the output of your MIDI device and connect it to the input of your interface. You can now assign MIDI as usual. For more information and product updates, please go to residentaudio.com.